For many of us, it's part of the morning routine, sitting down with our cup of juice. Never given thought to what's actually in your coffee. Joining us this morning to talk about the healthy coffee you should be buying right now is a Dr. Mehmet Oz from the Dr. Oz Show. Good morning, Dr. Oz. Good morning, Keita. You know, it's been a big about face on coffee. A lot of folks, my generation, were told to stunt your growth. But in fact, it's pretty good for memory. It actually helps with significantly with that, with mood, with, with the depression management. It gives you energy, helps your liver, even with diabetes and lots of other potential benefits. But the question is, are we drinking it the right way? And are we drinking the right coffee? Because those sound like great benefits. Can I drink any coffee and get those benefits? Well, one of the reasons coffee is so good for you, and again, it's the number one source of antioxidants. And I'm speaking as an independent observer here because I don't drink a lot of coffee personally, but I respect all the research that's been done on it. When you have coffee that's dark roasted, which a lot of people like, you actually are roasting out the benefits. So I light roasted coffee is probably better for you if you don't mind and slowly make your way in that direction. Uh, and that, by the way, the amount of caffeine is not dependent on how you roast it. The amount of caffeine is dependent on how long the water touches the bean. So if you have American coffee where you've got a percolator going actually has more caffeine in it than the espresso often does. Oh, but that's boy. not the problem. The problem is what we put in our coffee. And right now in our coffee, uh, especially if we don't preserve it the right way, and by the way, to do that, you need to buy fresh coffee, it's perishable, and put it in one of those bags where they have a little CO2 vent, a little valve that right. allows the air to come out of it. And don't put it in the fridge, put it in a dark corner, and don't expose it to, to, the, to, the, to, the, to heat, which also denatures it. Uh, but the problem is what we add to our coffee. So the non-dairy creamers, I don't know if you ever look on what's in your non-dairy creamer, but it's got all kinds of junk in there. It's, you know, it's got something called castorum, which is, listen carefully, it's the scent gland from a beaver's buttocks. What? That's a natural flavoring. It's, yeah. <laughs> it, believe it or not, they've, I don't know how they figured that out even, that a beaver's buttocks has a scent gland they might want to add to your non-dairy creamer. But there's all kinds of other stuff in there that's actually more of a problem for me. Synthetic chemicals, odors, scents. Now, uh, the, the 30 different kinds of aromas can come out of these non-dairy creamers. I suggest you put old-fashioned milk in your coffee, not too much of it, and then just a teaspoonful maybe of sugar, which only has about 16 calories to it. Don't put artificial stuff in there, just regular old coffee with a little bit of the stuff to make it more palatable to you, or even dark's better. And you know, I am, I'm always trying to watch my weight. I drink a lot of coffee because I'm up early, and I put the, uh, the sweeteners in there, uh, whether it's the pink or the blue or the yellow, but you're saying that's a bad idea and I should just go with straight old coffee. I would be concerned about the, the calories in it, but 16? Well, well, the artificial sweeteners aren't dangerous for you, but they're not gonna get you what you want either, Keenan, because you don't lose weight with artificial sweeteners. They're so sweet that they blow your taste buds out. Your body's very smart. It knows that you gave it a sweet taste in your mouth, but it didn't give it you any sugar, actually. So it tells you to go back and find more sugar. So again, I suggest a little bit of sugar. Listen, the reason people are gaining weight is not because they have 15 calories of sugar in their coffee. That's not the problem. It's all the other stuff they're eating during the day. It's the bagel and the donut they're having with their coffee. So I would argue all natural is the best way to go. That's why I'm willing to take a little bit of calories with, with, with milk uh, rather than a lot of other stuff that, might, that people might add with the non-dairy creamers. Or you can use one of the milk substitutes. I like almond milk, hemp milk. Okay. A lot of these actually go quite well with coffee. But pick something that you like. doesn't have a ton of calories in it, but you can do it every okay. single day. Your body recognizes that it's natural, so it oh, can digest you. it more readily. Thank you very much, and congratulations to you on your uh, Emmy win, and congratulations to your daughter for her Emmy win on The Doctors, which also airs uh, on Channel 7. Remember, you can uh, catch well, Doctors. I tell you, I was such an honor. I was going to say, it was a great honor as any father to watch his daughter get an award. It was a much bigger deal than me getting one. So thanks for your kind <laughs> words. You're, you're quite welcome. You can catch Dr. Oz every day on Channel 7 starting at 3 p.m. And, of course, you can catch Daphne uh, Oz also on The Chew at 1 p.m.